I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> Today on 52wines.com. A year.com. A year.com. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> my producer is reminding me. We have two wines. First of all, I'll try this. It's a Pinecroft Chardonnay. We just got it into the store. So I know nothing about it. This is going to be a first for just about everyone. Uh, let's see, it doesn't have a vintage on it either. So, and it's cheap. <laughs> How cheap? Three thirty-four a bottle. Nice. So, we shall see. Is that a whole bunch special or what? We'll find out. This is what this is all about. <laughs> we are finding out. It's fun to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So... Okay, now it's got a very light, pale yellow color. Has very, it's got a nice nose, it's got citrusy, a little vanilla. Uh, a little apricot. They say right here on the label, too. Listen. Crisp, fresh flavors of apple and pear abound in this elegant wine. They're leading you on. So right there, they're trying to tell you apples and pears. Oh yeah. my. You better smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and you do get some of that. You get some of the apple. Pear, not so much. But I love the descriptions they put on bottles of wine sometimes. <laughs> All right, that's my chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Very light. It's got a little. The aftertaste is a little sour. Sour as in off. fruit sour or just wrong yeah, sour? Not, not wrong sour so much yet, just sour fruit. Now, don't get this confused with being dry. A lot of people do. It is a dry wine. But it uh, starts off nicely. But then, at the very end, it just seems to get that odd sourness to it. What do you think? Is this not old enough, or...? No, it's meant for drinking right now. Okay. Maybe it just needs to be a little colder. I, I don't like to taste them uh, for the first time real, real cold, because then it masks the flavors. True enough. If I want to know just what it's like, then if I want to just chug it down, I'll freeze it. <laughs> 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 now that, <Woo> baby! <laughs> So, final thoughts? Final thoughts worth every penny of $3.34. <laughs> uh, Something what, to buy again? Would I go to it? I mean, if you're, if you're really into white wines every day, if you're like an everyday white wine drinker, this could be a shot. Could be a shot. But there are better ones out there. Better ones that you can spend a, a, another buck on and get a better quality wine. Mm -hmm. So, I out of the ten, I'd probably give it a four. Four out of ten. Yeah. All right. All right. And Ziggy here, <laughs> he's uh, got a wine for me. Oh. What is it, Zig? <laughs> why don't we Why don't we say that for a, another one? <laughs> no, let's do this right now. All right. So you're gonna put two for one. Huh? Two for one because right. I've been a bad little boy and I had uh, a lot of these on the air. So, this is the. Pinecroft Cabernet Sauvignon. These are all from California, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay. And same price, same deal. Supermarket wine. And this is being, uh, not produced, but uh, distributed by the supermarket. I don't know if I should say their wine, Sweet Bay. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sweet Bay. <laughs> but, uh, we'll give this a try, because Ziggy's been bugging me about this. Ah. Such a pig about these things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, it's got the nice, it's clear, very light and clear, so that's, that's always a good sign. And we have a different wine glass, if you'll notice. It's got the larger opening for a red wine than the uh, white wine, which has a more closed-in opening. It allows the red wines to breathe a little more. Mm -hmm. How long do we have that uh, bottle open there? Only about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Okay. So. Just air it out briefly. What we got? Again, these are very light wines, and I expected that. This has got this has got some cherry to it, a little bit of cherry, but it's got raspberry. I can see this is going to be a little more of a fruity style of Cabernet Sauvignon, not one of those great big thick. So what do you think? Guys? It's a little flat in the nose, though. It doesn't—it doesn't come alive in the nose. Very light. <laughs> this is like, uh, yeah, this uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you pair it with anything? I mean, this this kind of light Cabernet. Lighter meats, I guess, uh, things like uh, pork, perhaps. Uh, Do you think it's uh, because of its lightness is more of a cooking wine than anything? Possibly, yeah. This would be, I don't know why they didn't introduce this earlier in the year. This would have been a better uh, summer red wine because it is light, very fruity for a Cabernet, mm. which I'm expecting bigness and a lot of richness and tannins. tannins and all that. This is made for... Right now, drinking. <laughs> Take a step up from Kool-Aid. Pretty much. And no character whatsoever. Nothing, huh? No. I don't recommend this really at all. It might be a gateway red. <laughs> For those people who you know, are trying to wean themselves off of the sweeter reds and go to something lighter, a little mm. fruitier, this may be... A good idea because it's also cheap. 334 can't go wrong. Right. So in my opinion, not as good. Better, but both, I guess, worth the three dollars and thirty-four cents. <laughs> so that's my opinion. Both of them, I am probably rate this four out of ten. This maybe a little less, three out of ten. Gotcha. All right. All right. And thank you for joining us. 52winesayear.com.